So my favorite soft synth for the iPad is what we're gonna be talking about right now. I saw some guesses in the chat. Mobile Music Pro said, five bucks says it's Synth Master 2. Uh, you would have been paying me five bucks if, that's what, if that was true. <laughs> no, it's not Synth Master 2. He did mention Plinth though, which is similar to what I'm going to be mentioning. I don't know if I've ever seen Plinth. Maybe you had a typo. But it is in fact Flinth by the folks at Finger Lab. This is, in my opinion, the most beautiful soft synth I've ever used. It's really solid. It is free at first, and then you can pay the in-app purchase, which I believe, I wanna say it was like six or seven dollars, really cheap. The main thing I love about this synth is it's very stable in any DAW I've used it in. I do not have any issues with it, like not loading or popping up issues like that, or any of it, anything with like crashing and stuff like that. It always loads, it loads great. And those are the kind of apps you're gonna see me recommend here on this channel. I'm really gonna start cracking down on finding the things that function the best and sharing those with you, because I want you guys to have solid experiences when you're trying to make your music. Nothing derails the creative process more than glitches or just being in your own head. <laughs> I love the way this is laid out. Everything is very visually pleasing, very easy to adjust these knobs. I really like the care they took into making this a very simple layout. I think this is very user friendly for anyone, regardless of whether you're familiar with manipulating synths or not. Everything is really well laid out. I like that there's a volume octave and pitch right here, and that doesn't change no matter what patch you pull up. There is a built-in arpeggiator. That's really solid. Now, I know that's, you know, that's par for the course when it comes to synthesizers. There's other ones that have it, but not all of them do. You can set your tempo and you can set your note value. So if I play a chord down here, something like that, that's super fire. Just being able to have a built in arpeggiator and you can turn that off obviously. And it does actually change the rhythm with however many notes you're playing. So if I play, That's pretty fire. I like the built-in arpeggiator. It's really nice and really easy to use. That's the main theme with this app. It's just very, very user friendly. So there's a lot of really good patches in here, built-in presets. Now, when you first get the app, if you're getting the free version, you're gonna get about three or four, maybe five presets per tab here. So you get the leads, you'll get about three or four in here. Same thing with bass, organ, pads, FX, and then your user tab where you can you know, save your own presets, which is super dope. Um, but if you unlock the full purchase, you get all of these patches that are pre-made for you. So this is one of the main ones that it comes with is Australian. <laughs> And they all sound really nice. Now, the cool thing is you can set these LFOs, which this isn't something you can do in the free version, but you can map these to mess with any of these parameters over here. Um, so you can go over here and hit parameter, and you can set uh, filter cutoff is what it's set to right now. Um, and filter cutoff is over here. So it's gonna move this knob right here, and I can change the depth and the rate. And if I press this, you're seeing it's moving this knob right here. So we're getting some wobble in there, which is really nice. Some, some filtering, right? Now you can you can set a different parameter if you want. If you select this button, you can see, I don't know if you can tell this, but all of these knobs are flashing. You can select a knob, any knob, like resonance, for example, and that's now mapped to this LFO. And you can play it and hear that it's changing things, right? You can change the depth. I can make it do a lot. And then you can change the rate. I can make it go a lot faster. Right? Pretty solid. And there's two LFOs built in. I can select a different parameter with this one. So select a parameter. Let's say I want some vibrato. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do the rate of vibrato, and we will set the depth here, right here, and let's turn this LFO off. Now we're just getting the rate of vibrato is automating, basically. Nice, Dr. Don Wilson is in the chat and he says you can get Flint Complete for $4.99. Thank you for letting me know. I couldn't remember exactly how much I paid for it. But yeah, $4.99 for this synth is super good. Super good, in my opinion. 
Um, but yeah, you can have these two LFOs running at the same time and they can automate anything you want. On top of that, you can have your ARP here and you can set those parameters and it's super, super user friendly. You can also change your envelope. You know, do some ADSR in here <laughs> um, and get things to sound however you want. Customize your tail where it drags out a lot, you know. You can change your waveform. You know, there's just, there's lots of settings. So that's a lead. You can check out the basses. The basses are pretty dope. There's different settings for that, different presets. Comes with a lot of really solid pieces. You can also do some just straight up recording within this app. So if you want to just record something that you're playing, hit record, watch. Turn off recording and boom, you've got a recording. And you can bounce that out to your DAW. So if you just want to, if you want to doodle around and flint a little bit and come up with something that you like and then drag that into your DAW later, that's something you can do. That's pretty solid too. Um, you can also obviously make a new user patch and you can save your own presets. You can also save as, um, and then there's a, just your MIDI settings in here and that's it. It's really simple. It's a really simple synth. I like the pads. The pads are really nice. This is one of the main reasons I use this. Try Cosmos. I'll just demo a few for you guys so you can hear these sounds. Okay, we got iSpace. some pad examples and these are all really good in my opinion. anyway so these are some examples it's really you know in my opinion one of the nicest sounding and easiest to use plugins soft synths out there um, flinth by the folks at Finger Lab. They have a whole host of other apps here. I have used Mellow Sound a lot. Also, it's kind of like cousin app or sister app is Mint. Um, and that one's actually really nice too. It's laid out pretty much the same way. I can just open it because I already have it. I'm not going to talk about this tonight, but this is also laid out similar. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot more tweaking you can do uh, than Flint. And it's, it's, it's kind of, you know, this is more of your playground for advanced users, being able to use four LFOs, two filters, and, and yeah. Flint by Finger Lab is, in my opinion, the most beautiful, not just in sound, uh, but in visuals, the most beautiful soft synth that I've ever used. So that's it, creatives. Go make something dope, and I'll see you in the next video.